Hello, in this video we're going to look at the uniform convergence of Riemann integrable functions and we're going to show that what it converges to is also Riemann integrable. Now a couple background videos is my first one BV1 is on sequences of functions and we define pointwise and uniform convergence and in background video 2 we show that uniform convergence of continuous functions is continuous and then we'll use both of those in that this video and then you know I always say when you're proving things how far do you go back you know you, you can go back to first principles or you know at some point you stop and so here, here are two theorems that we're going to use that we're not going to improve we're going to assume they're true maybe at some point I'll go back and prove them the riemann lebesgue theorem says a bounded function f defined on AB is Riemann integrable on AB if and only if the set of discontinuities of F on AB has measure zero. Um, and note it should be noted here also that a continuous function on a bounded interval is also bounded. So if we can we're going to use the fact that a continuous function on a bounded interval is is uh, is bounded. So in theorem two is the un the union of a countable collection of sets of measure zero is a set of measure zero. So here's the theorem and and that we want to show. And this and before we get into this, um, in video one we showed that if we have a sequence of real valued functions that converges, many of the properties of f of n don't carry over to the convergent value f. And so we introduce these properties that then we use to show that, con that continuous functions that converge are continuous. And now we're going to look at that if we have a sequence of Riemann integrable functions that converges uniformly, then what it converges to is Riemann integrable. So let's let f of n be a sequence of Riemann integrable functions on a to b. If the a n converges uniformly to f then f is Riemann integrable and um, we can pass this limit through the integration sign so the proof is this um, each f of n is integrable on a b and that says the set e n of discontinuities in here has measure zero by uh, background theorem one. Now, if we let E be the countable union of all these discontinuity points, then by background theorem two, E ha is a set of measure zero. So, f of n, this is for all n, are continuous on this interval from A to B where we don't include the discontinuity points but this is measure zero now by background video two since f of n is continuous and confer converge uniformly to f on this set a b minus e then f is continuous on this set now background video one says f is riemann integrable on a to b and let's let Oh, then, then that's part of it. We just showed that f is Riemann integrable. But now let's show that we can pass that limit sign under the integral sign. The, the, um, so let's let epsilon over b minus a be positive. And let's pick an x in a, b. Then there exists an n such that little n bigger than n that this difference is really small. And that is because f of n is a uniformly convergent sequence to x or to f I mean but this in a, this absolute value inequality can be written like this you know so you take you know you take the minus of it here and then we um, um, and then of course this can be f of x minus f of n it's the same thing when you're talking about absolute value and then then you add f of n everywhere anyway you get this inequality but if we uh, if we 
take the integral sign of each one of these, this inequality is true. But since integration is a linear operator, we can take it into here and into here. And then this is, you know, integrates to, um, you know, epsilon over B minus A times B minus A. So those cancel we left with epsilon. And this is whatever it is. This comes down. Same way here. Well, we could subtract this to both sides. And then we take the absolute value because we have minus epsilon and plus epsilon. We get this. And then we're actually finished. So... Um, we just showed that um, if we th that this minus this is less than epsilon and so um, we we picked a, an epsilon greater than zero and we picked an x such that there's an n well that that's the definition of limit that says that this limits to this value and we're done and we showed it Right? We just showed that f is an integrable and the, the limit of this is equal to this. So this is true. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Uh, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.